today's yoga practice is going to be a little bit more vigorous than the last one. Um, we're going to be in standing on our mats today for uh, vinyasa flow yoga. My name's Laura and let's get started. So we're just going to begin standing at the tops of our yoga mats in Tadasana pose. Two big toes are going to touch and the heels are going to flare out to the sides just a few inches apart. So again we want to engage our bandhas, find Mula Bandha, your pelvic floor. Draw your navel in and up towards your spine. Then from there start to engage Mula Bandha, tucking the tailbone under, squeezing the glutes. Once you have Uddiyanda Bandha and Mula Bandha engaged, start to bring your hands to your heart center and then just close your eyes here. Taking a few deep breaths, trying to establish our Ujjayi breathing. Very deep breaths in and out through our nose. And it kind of sounds like the waves of the ocean. If you'd like to, you can set an intention for your practice today. Maybe offering up your practice to someone you're grateful to or you're grateful for. Just taking a few more deep breaths here. On our next inhale, opening the eyes. Releasing your hands alongside the body. We're just going to drop the right ear to the right shoulder as we flex our left wrist. Starting to warm up the cervical spine. Take those deep ujjayi breaths. Coming back through center. Dropping that left ear to the left shoulder and flexing our right wrist. Bringing our chin in towards our chest, really relax those shoulders down, away from your ears. Our bandhas are still engaged. Bringing the chin all the way up to the sky, just let your head fall back with grace. Coming back to center, huge circular movements with the head. Just getting any kinks out of the neck. Starting to warm up the top of the spine. And switching the direction when you're ready. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Continually try to drop them away from the ears. One more circle. And stopping back at center. Inhale, reach both arms tall to the sky, stretch, lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward as we swan dive down into our forward fold. Chest to the upper thighs. In your forward fold, just start to bicycle your heels, bending one knee, straightening the other. And switching legs, bending the opposite leg, straightening the other. And just doing this again and again. Noticing the difference between both sides, both hamstrings, your lower back. Fill up your lungs, you take those deep breaths, and start to send them into your hamstrings. Coming back to your forward fold, grab at both of your elbows, take a bend in your knees so your torso rests on your upper thighs. And just gently start to swing side to side, hanging in your ragdoll pose. Try to bring more weight forward into your toes. So your hips are a little bit over those ankles. On our exhale, releasing the right hand in front of the right foot. Deepen in the left leg, straightening the right. Inhale that left arm tall to the sky. Open your chest, stack your shoulders. Exhaling, releasing left hand in front of left foot. Deep 
all the way up. Keep those hands interlaced. On your inhale, reach taller. And on your exhale, bring the length as you lean to the right. On our inhale, coming back through center, reach up a little bit more. And exhale, bring that length over to the left. Inhale back through center and exhale swan dive down forward fold. Inhaling lengthening through. Exhaling forward fold. Stepping the right foot back into a low lunge. Right knee drops to the floor, flattening the foot. Inhale as you reach your arms tall to the sky. Again, drop those shoulders down. Breathing into your hip flexors. On our exhale, hands come down to frame the left foot. Left toe, right toes tuck under and we step the left foot back, down dog. Shake out the legs, sway the hips, spice for the heels. Whatever movements feel good here. On our next inhale, we're gonna step the left foot the right foot forward, dropping the left knee down to the floor, flattening that left foot. Inhale, both arms up, low lunge. Again, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. If you want, bringing that gaze to the sky. On our exhale, hands come down to frame the right foot. Left toes tuck under, and we step that right foot back, down dog. One full breath here. On our inhale, walking the feet forward to meet the hands, keeping your core engaged. Once we're at the top, inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Reverse one diving all the way up to standing. Interlace those hands tall. Biceps squeeze the ears. Exhale, leaning over to the right. Keep that heart open. Gaze up to the sky. Inhale, come back through center, reach taller. Exhale, start to lean to the left. Use your breath, let the exhale sink you a little bit deeper. Inhaling, coming back through center. Exhaling, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Placing the left hand in front of the left foot, deepen in the left leg, opening up to the right, stacking the shoulders. This time, feel free to wrap the right arm behind your back, working to clasp that upper left thigh. Deeper twist, make sure you're still breathing. Exhaling right hand in front of right foot, deepen in the right leg, straightening the left, inhale that left arm tall, you want to take it deeper, wrapping that left arm behind your back, clasping for that upper right thigh. Exhaling, releasing left hand in front of left foot. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling to airplane, shoulders squeezing down the back. Inhale, reach both arms overhead, clasp at the fingertips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. And exhale, the hands to your heart center. Closing your eyes as you bow to the wisdom of your heart. Taking a few deep breaths here, recentering yourself for your practice. Bond is tight and engaged. For this hour, no judgment, no expectations, and no comparisons. On your inhale, reach your prayer tall to the sky. On your exhale, we're going to take our first gentle back bend, separate your feet, cross your thumbs, spread your fingers, and send your hips way forward as you lean back safely. 
other exhale, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Stepping the right and left foot into plank. Sweet exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog, open your chest, drop your shoulders. And exhaling downward dog. Deep ujjayi breaths, in and out through your nose. Tighten your core, yudhu albana. Squeezing your pelvic floor. Make sure you can hear your breath, in and out through your nose. Jumping the feet forward. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Deep bend in both legs, reaching the arms tall. Ukatasana, chair pose. Weight should be in the heels. Tuck your toes, knees don't pass those toes to protect your knees. Inhaling, lengthening through, arching back. Getting that nice stretch. Exhaling, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Stepping or jumping into plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, grounding the back left heel. Deep inhalation as we reach the arms tall of the sky, dropping the shoulders. On our exhale, hands come down to frame the right foot. Right foot steps back, plank, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog, exhaling down dog. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, grounding the back right heel, deep inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhaling the hands to frame the left foot. Left foot steps back, plank, exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling up dog, exhaling downward dog. Breath in bondage, making that breath audible if you can. Jumping the feet forward. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, Utkatasana. Deep bend in the knees, arms come up. Lengthening through, arching back, get that nice stretch. Exhaling, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Stepping or jumping into plank. Exhaling, chaturanga. Inhaling, up dog. Exhaling, downward dog. 
Reaching the right leg, paw to the sky, three-legged down dog, point your toe. Inhale the right foot forward, warrior one. Arms come up. Exhaling hands to frame the right foot. Taking your plank and your vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhaling down dog. Left leg reaches tall to the sky, pointing that toe. Inhaling left foot forward, warrior one. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling hands to frame the left foot. And taking your vinyasa. One full breath in down dog. On our next inhale, reaching the right leg up to the sky, three legged down dog. Bending the knee, opening up the hips. Now make sure you're keeping your shoulder square, so press that right shoulder down. We don't want it hiked up. Shoulder square, hips open. On our inhale, stepping the right foot forward, low lunge. 90 degree bend in that right knee, dropping the left knee down, flattening the foot, and walking your hands up that right thigh. Interlacing at the hands on the upper thigh, drop your shoulders and gently start to lean forward into that right leg. Lifting your gaze. You can keep the hands here, you can bring them to your heart or reach your prayer tall. On our exhale, we're going to release the left hand to the inside of our right foot. Tucking the left toes under, left knee comes up off the mat. And now slowly start to stack your shoulders as you open up to the right. Keep pressing the right hip back, pulling the left hip forward. So we're not here, we're pulling that right hip back. Now try to elongate your torso. Try not to slouch here, but we want to lengthen the crown of the head forward to the front wall. Just see to that right hand if you can. Exhale, release the right hand down to frame the right foot. Drop that left knee back down to the floor, flatten the foot, and inhale your arms up. Exhale the hands in front of your shoulders, arms straight, and now slowly start to bring the right hand and arm out to the right, opening up to the right, making it a twist, lifting out of the waist, try not to collapse, lengthen. Exhale takes you a little bit deeper, and help through center, switching sides, left arm comes and opens up to the left. You're using Mula Bandha here to help you balance. Right hip moves back, left hip comes forward. Exhaling, releasing both hands down to frame the right foot. Tuck the left toes under, we're going to move into one arm side balance. Right foot steps back, toes spin to the right, inhale that right arm tall. A little bit more of a challenge, if you want, you can lift your right foot up off the floor, <laughs> welcome the shake. Exhale everything down, you can take down dog or your vinyasa. Take as many breaths in down dog as you need to. But when you're ready, inhale your right leg up to the sky. Pointing the toe, bend the knee, and open your hips. Now make sure your shoulders are still square. We don't want that left shoulder to rise up. Press it down. Inhaling, left foot comes forward, low lunge. 90 degree bend in that knee, dropping the right knee down, flattening 
Locking the foot and locking the hands up that left leg. Hands interlace on that left thigh. Relax your shoulders, shift forward a little bit more in that leg. Make sure your knee doesn't go past your toes. And lift your gaze. You can keep it here, you can bring your hands to your heart, or you can reach your prayer tall. On our exhale, we're going to bring the right hand to the inside of that left foot, left hand to the left hip, tuck those right toes under, right knee lifts up off the floor. And we're going to slowly open up the torso to the left as we lengthen the arm up. Again, we're pulling the left hip back this time, right hip forward. So like you're bringing those two hips closer towards one another. Exhaling, left hand comes down to frame the left foot. Right knee drops back down to the mat. Flattening your right foot. Inhale the arms up. Low lunge. Exhaling hands extended in front of the shoulders. Inhale the left arm opens up to the left. Twisting. Squeeze your core. Inhale back through center. Opposite side. Right arm opens up to the right. Use your bonus to help balance. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale back through center, reach up. Exhale both hands to frame that left foot. We're going to tuck that right foot under and step the left foot back into a one arm side balance. Toe spin to the left, reach that left arm up, squeeze the core. Again, if you want to make it harder, you can feel free to lift the left foot up off the floor. Shaking's toning, welcome it. Exhale everything down, down dog or your vinyasa first. A few deep breaths and down dog to find your breath, your bondage. On our inhale, right leg reaches up, three-legged down dog. Bending the knee, open your hips. This time, start to open up, stacking those shoulders. Open up as much as you can. Maybe so much you flip your dog over. Right foot lands outside of the left. And we reach that right arm up and overhead for a wild thing. Exhaling, right hand comes back to meet the left. Three-legged down dog, right foot up. Inhale, right foot forward. Low lunge, left knee drops. Inhale, the arms tall to the sky. Exhaling, hands come down to frame that right foot. Heel toe your right foot to the right side of your mat. Bring the right arm underneath your right upper thigh to the outside of that right foot. Once you have that, start to walk your right foot in closer to the center of your mat. Get a good low crouch. And then from here, see if you can extend the right hand up off the floor in a half airplane arm, palm face to the sky, right alongside your hip. Now if you have that, try to lift the left hand up alongside your hip. Both hands are lifted if you can. Maybe go for the bind. Hands meet behind your back. They interlace with the fingers. Now once you have this, you want to press your right hip back. You want to pull that left hip forward. Mula bond engaged. One more breath here. Exhale, we're going to release both hands down to the floor. Keep the right hand to the outside of your right foot. Moving into our Edgar Pada Kudinyasana B. Get a low crouch of that right leg on top of the shoulder. Slowly start to bring the right foot to the outside of your right fingertips. Maybe 
forearms, chatter on the arms, and try to lift both feet up off the floor. Even if it's for a second. When you're ready to come out, kick the right foot back into a chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Dropping both knees down to the floor, child's pose, just rest here for a few breaths. Your vertebrae up like a rag doll. 
Now press through the palms, find stability in the hands and through your foot with the earth. Lean forward and slowly lift that back right foot up off the floor. Flex through that back right foot. Keep pressing your right hip down, it's gonna wanna open. And now from here, keeping the hands up off the floor, try to lower your heart a little bit closer. It's a lot harder. Torso starting to melt on that thigh, maybe. Relax your head. And now our left hand's gonna come down to the outside of our left toes. And we're gonna open up into our half moon. Try to stack your shoulders on top of one another. Focus on your breathing. Make sure you're still keeping the breath lengthened. I know it's hard. Just try. Sugar cane pose if you choose. Staying here. All we do is bend our right foot, that's all. And try to reach for that right foot with the left with the right hand. Now if you have the bind, slowly start to open up your hips more. Open up your chest and breathe into your hips. It's a great hip opener. On our exhale, releasing the right hand only to the inside of that left foot. Revolving half moon. Hips are still square forward. Right hand to the inside of the right foot. Left hand opens up and lengthens to the sky as we open up to the left. Mula Bandha at work, pressing your left hip back, pulling your right hip forward. One more breath. Exhale, release just your left hand down to the floor and bring the right foot about three feet apart from the left. Place it on the mat. Two ankles and heels in alignment. Back right toes spinning out at about 20 to 30 degrees. Both legs are straight. Inhale, lengthen through on your fingers. Exhale, scoop in the belly and melt your heart over that straight left leg. Pyramid pose. One more breath. On our inhale, lengthen through on the fingertips. Revolving pyramid, twisting pyramid. Right hand comes to the outside of that left foot. Press into that hand, or you can make a fist, or use a block. Try not to place the hand on the foot, but to the outside. If that's too hard, you can bring it to the inside. So once you have that right hand planted, use Mula Bandha, press that left hip back, pull the right hip forward. Feel the stability you gain, and then open that left arm up to the sky. Try to open up your torso. Keep breathing. I know it's challenging. If you fall, that's okay. Just focus on the breath. Exhale, release the left hand back down, bring that left foot. Press into your back right heel, and slowly, Come up to standing. That front left leg, the hamstring, back of it should be on fire. And once you're up, come back to standing. Hands at your heart. Breathe. Close your eyes. Just take in that you did that. Calm your mind. No expectations. Just being in the moment. Thank you. 
can. Lean forward more so your torso starts to come onto that right thigh. Release your right hand to the outside of your right foot. Half moon pose, stack your hips, flex your left foot behind you, and open the left arm to the left. You should be so focused on your breath, you have no other thoughts here. That's how focused you should be. These poses are secondary, your breath is your practice. When you're ready, if you want to try sugar cane, try to bend your left leg, reaching for the top of your left foot with your left hand. If you have the bind, then kick your foot into your hand your hand into the foot and breathe into your hips. It should feel wonderful. On your exhale, just release your left hand to the inside of your right foot, revolving half moon. Both legs straight, slowly start to lift your right hand up and open to the right. Om La Bandi here. Exhale, release the left hand down. Now take a little step back with the left foot. Two heels in alignment. Back right toe, left toes, spinning out 20 to 30 degrees. Inhale, lengthen through on your fingers. Exhale, take your full pyramid pose. Legs in are spiraling towards one another. So that just means you're pushing the left hip forward and pulling the right hip back. On our inhale, we're gonna try to bring the left hand to either the inside, that's easier, the inside of your right foot. If you wanna make it more challenging, the outside of your right foot. Again, use the La Banda. You can use the palm, you can use a knuckle, whatever works. Slowly start to open up to the right. Shoulders stacked. And crown of the head lengthening forward. You should be shaking like crazy. Focus on your breath. Exhaling, releasing the right hand down to frame that right foot. Press back into your left foot. With both legs straight, try to come up to standing. Front right leg, the back of it should be on fire. And once you're standing tall, step both legs forward and rest here in Tadasana. Close your eyes, breathe. On our inhale, opening the eyes, reaching the prayer tall to the sky. Exhaling, swan diving down, forward fold. Inhaling, lengthening through. Exhaling, forward fold. Separating your feet almost as wide as your yoga mat. For Malasana, toes are gonna point out to the sides. And we're gonna sink our sits bones down. Hands come to our heart center, elbows press open our inner thighs, and then try to bring more weight into your heels. Try not to collapse, but we want to lift tall out of our waist. And if you want to, you can hold here, or you can try your crow pose or crane. You want to try crow or crane, get a really low crouch. Use Udiyanda Bandha so you're really going to feel yourself sucking in that core. Try to bring your knees to the insides of your armpits. Take as much time as you need to. Spread your hands wide. Our gaze is going to be forward. Maybe lift one toe up off the floor and then maybe both if you can. Welcome the shake. Breathe through it. And then try to kick it to 
chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Drop your knees and just rest in child's pose. stretch slowly coming up onto all fours and from here we're just going to step the right foot forward 90 degree angle pigeon pose heel toe your right foot to the left side of your mat drop your right knee down and slowly inch the left leg back behind you now make sure you're not sitting on your right hip keep it lifted we want to try to bring the left hip closer to the floor. Hands alongside your hips. Relax your shoulders, lift your gaze. If you want to go deeper, you can come onto your forearms if you choose. Or extend all the way out into your pigeon pose. Inhale, starting to walk our hands back to center, tucking the left toes, stepping the right foot back. This time bringing the left foot forward, 90 degree bend, heel toeing the left foot to the right side of your mat. Pigeon pose, dropping that left knee down and starting to inch the right leg back behind us. Once you have that, hands come to your hips, right alongside your hips. And if you want to go deeper, coming onto your forearms, we never want to force anything. Just find your edge wherever your at's perfect. On your body and make sure you're not over pushing. Just a good pain and opening. Starting to walk our hands back to center, tucking those right toes under, stepping the left foot back, coming onto all fours. Sitting on your he heels for hero pose, our, almost our last move is going to be our sirshasana, our headstand. Um, if you want to, you can bring your mat up against a wall, just so in case you fall, you fall against the wall. Um, so you can do that now. Um, if you've never done headstand, I'm going to teach you the basic breakdown. So you want to interlace at your hands like a prayer, and then you want to come forward on your forearms. What you want to do is you want to get the proper distance of your forearms being separated. So grab at both elbows to get that proper shoulder width. Most people have their elbows really wide apart because that gives you a greater base of support but your shoulder isn't above your elbow, and that's that alignment. We want our shoulder right above our elbow. So do that by finding, grabbing both elbows with your hands. Once you have that proper shoulder distance width, then interlace at your hands like a prayer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the very top of your 
your head on into your hands. So not your forehead, not the back of your head, but literally the very crown of your head, where like a headband would be, I guess, if you're a girl. <laughs> so go ahead and interlace your hands there. Bring your head to the very top of your hands. And on your knees here, your gaze should be at your upper thighs. Once you have that, Tuck your toes under, lift your knees up off the floor, and we're going to slowly come into it by walking our feet closer to your elbows. Once you have them pretty close, with lift one knee up off the floor, engage your core, and maybe try to lift both knees. This is where we start here with our knees bent. Once you're feeling comfortable, you can straighten your knees and take the full stretch asana. Once you're in the pose, make sure you breathe. Don't hold your breath. It's an inversion, so make sure you're deepening your breath. To come out of the pose, bring your hips more closer to your head and slowly try to lower it down with control. Child's pose, just rest here, fill up the lungs. When you're ready, slowly come onto all fours and we're finally gonna get to sit. Aren't we excited? Go ahead and sit with those legs extended. We're gonna take our Pashimottanasana. Inhale to reach the arms up. Exhale, bring that length as you melt your torso and your upper thighs. Keep your gaze forward. Scoop in your belly. It's more about your bandhas than your flexibility here. So use your bandhas as you come forward. Whichever side you're on, where your knees are pointing, so for me, my knees are pointing to the right, I'm going to pick up my right foot and place it on top of my left upper thigh. Releasing, inhaling through center, opposite side. My knees are going to the left this time. I'm going to pick up my left foot and place it on my right upper thigh. Releasing, inhaling through center, and just fully relax your back on the mat. Knees are going to come into our chest, arms wrap around shins, curling up into a tight ball. Rocking side to side, massaging your back. Keeping the right knee into your chest, lengthening the left leg on the floor. We're going to bring the left, the right, sorry, the right thumb and forefinger to the big toe of your right foot. Left hand to your left hip to ground it. Straighten that right leg up and try to bring your, the crown of your head as close to that leg as you can. Within reason, don't force it. Relaxing your head down. Gazing over your left shoulder, we're going to gently open up that right leg to the right. Using your left hand to press 
of your right shoulder, opening up the left leg to the left, hip opener. We're still using our Ujjayi breath here. Inhaling that knee through center, hugging both knees into your chest once again. Our final pose, hands come out to the side in the T, palms face skyward. Gazing past your right fingertips, start to drop your knees to the left for your spinal twist. center. Gazes to the left, knees drop to the right. Make sure your left shoulder is grounded. You can use your right hand to place on the left thigh to take you deeper. Enjoy your breath, your lifelong companion. 